So in this video I'm going to be showing you what I am taking um, when I travel to California in terms of like my photography kit. So this is going to be a well documented trip. I am taking three different cameras, my DSLR, my iPhone and my GoPro. And that's because I'll be vlogging um, and I'll be taking a lot of photos. So my main camera is my DSLR which is my Canon 600D and I am taking the 18 to 55 mil lens. It is relatively lightweight. I have a bigger lens, but it's just going to be too heavy because I'll be walking around most of the time. But I think this one is pretty multi-purpose and I can use it to take a whole lot of different photos. The next strap that is attached to my camera is this kind of like wetsuit material one. The one that it came in, the Canon one, the one that says like Canon EOS, it rubs on my neck. So I got this one because it will be more comfortable. And it's got a little lens cap holder here. Um, I got both of these from Trade Me. And I also attached like, you know, those lanyard clips. <laughs> I attached it to the strap to make it easier to get on and off because a lot of the time I have like a, just like a hand strap. That's what I use at home. But when I'm traveling, I use this so I can carry it around my neck or my shoulders. I am taking a spare battery pack and this is the charger that I am taking with it. Um, I got a USB one. I'll also be taking a remote and this one has a two second delay. I also got this from Trade Me. I'll be taking this tripod. It's not heavy because it's not like a professional, um, like a super sturdy one. Also, I'll be taking a couple of SD cards for my DSLR. That's because if one of them gets corrupt, I don't want to lose all the pictures that I've taken. So I'm kind of like separating the photos. So these are kind of like just spares. For vlogs, I'll be using my iPhone 6S as always. And I got this little tiny selfie stick that comes in a pouch. I got this from Daiso. It was... 10 bucks. It is the smallest selfie stick that I've seen. And this is how it looks and you just fold it out like this and then it just stretches out. This works best with the iPhone because you know how you can take photos with the volume button? Um, well this goes into the audio jack which obviously wouldn't work if you have an iPhone 7. And then the button on the stick here acts as a volume button so whenever you press it because it's connected here, it will take a picture. My third and final camera is my GoPro Hero. I got this GoPro just because I wanted to capture the scenes when I am on my bike. I'll be doing two bike trips, one along the Santa Monica boardwalk in LA, and the other one is across the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. I got it on Trade Me. I think it was just someone who bought like a bunch of GoPros in Australia and sold them here. It's brand new and I got a pretty good deal for it. I also got a whole bunch of different mounts because I don't know what kind of bike or helmet um, I'll be renting over there. So I got like the standard handlebar mount and I also got a wrist strap but it can also be mounted on the handlebars. I got a pivot arm so the GoPro can sit on it at different angles. I also have a helmet strap so it really depends when I get there which one I use because um, once I see the bike or the helmet I'll kind of decide what mount to use but I'm just taking all of them just in case. And because GoPros don't float, um, I got this little floaty stick thing. I don't think I'll be going swimming, but just in case, I took this. Um, so the GoPro would sit here and that's how you would hold it and that's how it floats. So yeah, that's my travel photography kit and that's all my essentials that I'm taking with me. For safety reasons, this video is pre-recorded because I don't want people to track me down and know that I'm taking a whole lot of valuables. Let me know what's in your photography essential kit whether you have the same kind of stuff as mine and what GoPro mounts you like and where you take your GoPro because I only just got it and I've only taken it bike riding but I also want to be able to take it like into the ocean and when I'm paddle boarding and all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep a lookout for my vlogs here on this channel and also I will be blogging and doing like a summary and pictures on my blog which is also listed in the description and bar below. Thanks for watching.